Hello, Stuart here doing another video response to yet another Woodland question about have any game series got better over the years? Um, I had a quick look at some of the comments from people putting up and I saw people saying that sports games are getting better. Uh, more particular, most specifically um, FIFA. Excuse me, the microphone's falling over. Um, now, I think FIFA came out in 1995. In between that, they've had a release every year special editions for World Cup, um, Europa Cup, Europa Cup, Euro Cup, European Cup, uh, and whatnot. You would have thought that after 20 years and probably 30 different variations, the game would be getting better. And all they actually basically do is improve of what they've got. They don't really do that much, really. Um, I know people will um, will disagree, but I mean, the basis of what, what was good was there last year, and you're just building on top of it. Um... So I'm thinking of games that have, I believe wife walking around in it. I feel like a dick when she walks in on me talking to a camera. Um, so I'm thinking about games which basically when, through each iteration really, they've scrapped it and started again or had a core, but basically the code behind it has most probably been changed. Now the game I'm thinking of started in the arcade, I think it was 1988 or 89, had several home ports of it, and I think every single home port of it is absolutely terrible. Uh, but it got a really, really big following to actually then get a sequel in 1992, and that's when the, real, the series really took off. Um, this game series is a bit of an in-joke of bringing out slight variations or iterations and just extending the name of it. And if you've not guessed already, um, I'm thinking the Street Fighter series has actually got better over the years. Now, where's my thinking behind this? Okay, um, Street Fighter 1, arcade game. Looked great at the time, you had these really big characters, you had special moves, you travel over the world, um, you had six buttons, for God's sake, six buttons on an arcade machine. Um, and it, it, it took the arcade by storm. Looking back at it now, it's actually a terrible game. But it was, it was good at the time. Street Fighter 2 came out and just completely changed how the world thought about fighter games. This is where the multiple characters came in, the special moves, the different stages, different style of fighting for each person, uh, for each character. And it is absolutely superb. It, as everybody knows, um, the graphics are absolutely brilliant. There are beautiful, nice animations. What can you say about Street Fighter 2? There's, there's not really much negative you can say, and if you do say anything negative about Street Fighter 2, I don't know what to say, really. Um, but then they brought out the Championship Edition, which unlocks the four boss characters, an improvement. Then they brought out Hyper Fighting or something like that, which, which sped it up, brought in like the counter and the extra points for things like that. Again, another improvement. Um, Super Street Fighter uh, brought in more current characters like Fade Long, I think, came in. Um, is that when Kami came in as well and things like that? So again, more characters, each iteration brought in more stuff and made this, that sequel series better. Um, then you go into the Alpha series. I'm sure there's a lot more series. These ones I just know about. I only know a little bit about Street Fighter. They went to the Alpha series. It's a bit like a prequel to Street Fighter 2. Um, but again, they got rid of some characters, brought more characters in, so it's new characters to learn, new backgrounds and um, locations to go to. Slight new systems with, I think there's some sort of blocking a parry system, some really basic parry system in that. Um, they brought in the super moves. Um, again, it's a very good series. I think a, an improvement on Street Fighter 2. Um, I th I'm led to believe that the Street Fighter Alpha 2 or Street Fighter Zero 2, as it's called in Japan, is actually the best of the lot of the Street Fighter Zero series. Uh, I've not got around to playing it myself, but playing Street Fighter Zero, a uh, normal one, um, it's a very good game. Better than Street Fighter 2. Graphics are better and everything. Then the Street Fighter 3 series came out, which I didn't really know about until... Probably about 2003, 2004, I think it may be, when I got an Xbox um, and I saw the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike um, edition on the Xbox. Um, I didn't know Street Fighter 3 was out, but at a time when everybody else was going 3D, Street Fighter stuck was 2D and they made a very good job. The animation was absolutely beautiful, the backgrounds are absolutely gorgeous, um, they're just a pleasure to look at. Um, got rid of some old characters, 
brought some new characters in, new moves for them, new special moves, brought in a proper parry system, um, and everything like that, again, is an improvement over the Street Fighter 4 and the Street Fighter 0 series. Um, again, it's a guilty of the of, of having these stupid names, because I think they had Street Fighter 3, then First Strike, Second Strike, Alpha, whatnot. Um, and the one I've got is Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, which I've read is said to be one of the better ones. Then there's a long gap. Um, and then the announcement of Street Fighter 4, and everybody was really excited. And when information started coming out saying it's going to be 3D, people think, mm, 3D? It's a traditionally 2D game, 2D game, it works brilliant to 2D, they make beautiful 2D graphics, 3D is going to ruin it. Uh, then, then they announced that all the Street Fighter 2 characters are going to be in it. Um, so that made everybody excited again, they can play as Dalton, who's not been in it for a while, um, and other people, I can't think of it, it's off of my head, it's not the Blanker, don't think he's been in it for a while, they brought that Blanker. Um, and then you actually saw the in-game graphics, where it was actually 3D graphics, but playing on a 2D plane. But the textures of the clothes and the skin looked like they were painted doing it. So it was, it was bringing the artistic beauty to 3D graphics. The control system was much better. They had a superb combination build-up. Um, they had a training mode. You can actually practice building your, your, your training. They had the EX blocking system. Um, all sorts. Again, an improvement over Street Fighter 3. I feel. Um, and, and again, it's, it's, it's been partly guilty of adding stupid names on and bringing out slightly more because you've got the Super Street Fighter 4, you've got the Super, Super Street Fighter 4 Arc Arcade Edition, or is it called Super Street Fighter Arcade Edition? I don't know. Whatever, they bought an Arcade Edition, but each time they do it, they bring in more characters. It's not just. And it's not always just like recycling old characters. Um, they actually create new characters from scratch. They get characters from. Not, they're not used for like 10, 15 years. Uh, remodel them, um, bring them back in, give them another backstory, uh, give them new moves, and all sorts like that. And again, each iteration, because they refine it and they bring more stuff in, is better than the other one. I mean, the, the previous iteration. I've never actually played a Street Fighter. Thought that that's worse than the other one. So, all in all, and give me your comments, um, whether you're a, you're a a fighting fan or not and to be honest I didn't think I was a fighting fan and I just all the video clips you've just seen are actually from my personal collection except for Street Fighter 1 because um, that was from MAME but I've got I've got quite a few versions of Street Fighter and never actually thought I was a fan until I thought oh um, yeah but give me your thoughts what do you think has the Street Fighter series got better over the years or did you think or do you think the pinnacle was Street Fighter 2 or did you not really play anything after Street Fighter 2 properly that's what I was like for a long while until I got back into the series. So, um, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I hope to have another video up soon.